What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling, uh, or yeah, hope you're feeling amazing today. So, for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and shares. Your support really is just the greatest, Cancer, and it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy how yourself has brought you here. We're in for an amazing journey. Now, the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, wherever cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads the face of our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going and void, of course, all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take a resonates with you, leave the rest with me, never force a reading on a situation, and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Crystals, feeling lovely. Just great energy all around here, Cancer. Hey, Cancer. Happy Venus Day. It's Friday. Venus rules over Fridays. Hope you're feeling, uh, hope you're getting, getting paid. Maybe getting ready to go on a date there, Cancer. And you know what, Cancer, if not, it's a great energy to go void of course today because the moon is. The moon is going to be going void of course at about 3.08 a.m. And that will be Eastern time. And then she'll be moving from Cancer into Leo at 11 a.m. And that'll be, oh, all right. The card's just jumping out, Cancer. But, um, again, yeah, at 11 a.m. So we're looking at about a 7 hour and 52 minute void of course time there, Cancer. And with the void of course energy, this is what happens when the moon forms her last major aspect with the planet. And then she just kind of wanders for a bit. Where she's wandering to, we're going to have to do like a documentary on that, Cancer. <laughs> but the void of course is a great time for recharging your batteries, for doing some meditation, just kind of cleansing your your energies. Because being being as, intu as, as sensitive to, and as intuitive as you are, Cancer, but as sensitive to the energies as you are, as you know, you such a powerful impact you do pick up on the people's and the, the emotions and energies of others around you cancer so we want to make sure that we're just just kind of like in a sense just kind of resetting the body kind of purifying this whether this be through maybe through incense possibly maybe lighting some sage or some rosemary around you or your space or you know doing like an epsom bath or just a mindful shower or yeah, just some meditation, some deep breathing, anything to just kind of recenter and just kind of just you know, just you know, find yourself again there, Cancer, and all this this ocean of feelings and things that happen around us and within us. So great energy for that. But also really, um, or you may notice that your plans may be subject to unexpected changes during this time and that people may be less likely to make decisions. So there's another thing to look out for there, Cancer. And then with the moon entering into Leo, this is a very joyful place for the moon to be because Leo is associated with the fifth house, which is the happiest house of the houses. That's the house of joy, play, pleasure. So this is a great time for you to just, you know, get do some good things for yourself, Cancer. Go out and play. Go out there and just be joyful. Find the find the beauty in life. And this is a great energy, too, to take up any sort of, like, hobbies or interests, any sort of creative endeavors. Great energy for self-expression. Leo's probably, for me, the most creative sign. I mean, that would be, it's between them and I'd say between the, for me to them and Pisces yeah probably them I'd even throw Libra and Taurus somewhere in the mix there too so it's a this is a toss up cancer but but this is a great energy for that as well expression through art through cooking through music through dance through crafting through mechanics maybe you're building transformers or cancer I'm with it <laughs> but this is a great energy too, Cancer, for love as well. Leo is a very passionate, very romantic, loving sign. So maybe if you think about going on a date and it's Venus Day, Cancer, great energy for going out for relationships and stuff. So couple this with this Leo energy, Cancer, you can have yourself a lovely little date there. So I <laughs> love that. <laughs> but then you have the disseminating moon, Cancer, or the waning gibbous. And this is the calm after the storm. This is for appreciating the... 
the growth of the transformation that you've you know been going through over this lunar cycle and to do some internal reflection see how this has raised your vibration you know have you met the goals that you've wanted to and a great energy for giving back too it's like now that you've been doing this thing for yourself how's this thing helping others as well raise the vibration are you sharing the stuff that you've been doing there cancer what is that looking like and and yeah this um also i feel like a great energy to it is one for a really great one for kind of surrendering to the universe. Now we're just sort of like, we've been just like kind of building up so much energy, this big, you know, the lunar cycle that increases like a big inhale and now we can kind of exhale and just sort of start relaxing and letting this thing start to really kind of settle in into your routine there, Cancer. So there's another thing with a waning gala, so disseminating moon, but a uh, few other things cancer these readings that i do they're not gender specific readings so apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations and then the decks that i'm working with i've included links to them down in the description box also definitely check that out if you're interested cancer but also down below some links for some other readers that i like watching so uh go give them a watch they have some great energies that they bring very intuitive i think you'd enjoy them and there's also a link for an astrologer that, that i like a, an astrologer that i like watching there as well cancer so definitely check out all that stuff the description box is just loaded with information for you got apps and all types of things but let's go ahead and get into your general energy of the day which you have the pachamama card <laughs> ain't that a word and this is a card of blessings from great mother and i like this cancer especially in this joy joyful energy of leo I feel that this energy is asking you to go out there and to enjoy all of the blessings that we do receive from the earth, from the, from the, from great mother nature. And, and I really feel like cancer be mindful of, of really all the things that, she, that she does provide for us from, you know, the trees that, prov you know, that takes in all of our, the carbon dioxide and puts out the, puts out oxygen for us to the sunlight there, cancer to the earth underneath your feet, to the water that we're drinking to. It's just there's so much I feel like to be grateful for and to enjoy and all the beauty that it that this realm can really bring. You know, we I feel we we've almost disconnected a lot from mother nature especially getting into like this age of technology and things which has its perks don't get me wrong cancer but i do feel that we need to remember the foundation that started this whole thing this 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 earth and even getting to it's even kind of giving me this energy of like uranus and taurus where because you're or taurus can be can deal with like nature and the environment and you know, Uranus is about how things have been changing. And I feel like it's like checking in with your relationship with this, with this energy as well. How are we, you know, because we just don't want to be where we're just in this taking all the time there, Cancer. We want to make sure that we're giving back, not just to others, but to the earth as well. Because again, she provides so much and provides it without any sort of qualms or anything as far as those lines we can we've been treating her any kind of way or every which way yet she still gives so that's something i just feel like to really be grateful for this experience you know here cancer and it just really kind of bask in the blessings and make sure that we're just just being as as giving as we are being receptive there cancer but let's get some um let's get some tarot on this cancer Absolutely, Cancer. Hmm. All right, thank you. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on here. Ooh, Cancer, look at this. I like that. So you have the... The Ten of Swords... The Nine of Coins, the Knight of Coins, the Five of Cups, the Magician, and the Wheel of Fortune here, Cancer. And you know, with the Ten of Swords being here, Cancer, I feel that even when we're feeling at our lowest, that 
you know, because in the Ten of Swords, in, in other Ten of Swords, they have it where there's some there's this figure that's lying down with all the swords in their back. But in the on the horizon, the stun the sun is still rising. And you know, when we think about all the sort of like all these sort of like emotional things or just any sort of challenges I'm, I'm being like emotional upheavals the things that happen to us cancer i feel that we can let this energy sometimes really keep us down but i feel that this great mother pachamama here is reminding you that this journey is a work in progress and that you know where there may be times where we may not feel like rising you know, and I just kind of feel like kind of giving up there that, you know, this, this, that the cycles are still going forward, that life is still happening around you, even when you're feeling at your lowest. And that's not to be, and that's meant to be like a motivator. You know, every day the birds are chirping, they, you know, I'm sure they feel some kind of way, but we know we got work to do. We got manifest things to manifest, things to create here with the magician. And, I feel with this Knight of Coins here that it, that when you do feel start feeling low there, Cancer, I, the Knight of Coins gives me it's very Taurus energy for me, and he's the slowest moving Knight of the Knights, and I feel that there's this need to, especially when we're not feeling at our highest, to get out in again in the blessings and be out in this abundant energy it may not necessarily fix your problem at that moment but at least will take you a, kind of break that cycle where we get kind of stuck in that mindset and get you instead of being in this sort of lack kind of place their cancer gets you thinking in a more broader abundant type of mindset here with the magician or with the wheel of fortune because it's a jupiter energy expansive and I feel it's remembering too is that each day that you that you get cancer every moment is a moment to be able to create more for yourself to really kind of expand this beauty that is around us cancer and hmm And that's interesting, Cancer, just because even looking at this, what is this, a cheetah, jaguar, whatever this is, a big old cat is. I feel like you don't see too many albino, I, this looks like, maybe it's a leopard, <laughs> but it's fine. What You don't see a lot of albino animals out there in the wild there, Cancer. And I feel like that's even kind of hitting on the rarity that each day brings. There's always something special that every moment brings in life and it's and i feel like it's kind of building on that with this nine of coins here and just getting yeah just kind of growing from this and like really just i don't know cancer allowing this sort of healing energies from from the great mother to to heal you and to lift you up there and to be patient with yourself when you do feel down this is not to say that you just like oh forget about can the sun is rising so you got to get over it no take it slow take your time but do i feel like keep moving forward you know remembering that you know this journey ain't over till it's over so till it's over let's try to make the try to make the most of this this um this experience there cancer hmm i dig that all right let's get some more uh get some more tarot on this Look at this abundant queen. I like that. Oh, all right. Let's get it together. So you have the... This is going to get cancer. All right. So you have the... Oh, you've been up the, the coin family. You have the page of cups. Oh, excuse me. Page of coins. The queen of coins. The two of cups. The three of cups. And then the justice card here. Cancer. And... You know, Cancer, I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting a lot of like building energy with this, with these pages here, this whole, all we're missing is the king, but 
I feel that there is this this energy of or this opportunity you know every day gives you a chance to create something new here with with the page of coins to to take what's in your heart because the queen of the queen of coins is a, is an expert manifester she's one that she takes she takes what the love in her heart and she she builds it she she magicians you know and I feel that this this energy is with this three of cups and these these coin this family of coins here it's like this celebrating in the celebrating in the act of creation and the act of manifestation here with this with all this energy and I feel that the justice card this can be a card of cause and effect. And I feel in order to, if you don't feel that there are any blessings in your life, Cancer, I feel that this justice card is inviting you to create more, to make decisions that are more kind of, do things for yourself that are more kind of within your heart in a sense, as opposed to, I feel like just doing just, how do I want to put this, like the, the obligations in life, you know, those will be there, but finding a balance to, I don't know, to kind of just enjoy these, these blessings more, you know, getting outside more and just kind of enjoying this, like disconnecting, I feel like even from the, from the norm in a sense like you know like technology and things and getting out there and just like again creating something with, with your whether this be creating some type of art or or hmm, maybe even like doing some 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 journaling there cancer I'm not sure like writing some even some poetry something I feel that that allows you to connect with this this energy as as well there cancer with this two of cups it's because the two of cups sometimes gives me this this lover's vibe that when we're in when we're balanced within it's just like there's this this deeper connection that happens with with source and so mm. hmm. let me get a little bit more with this page of coins here cancer before we move on Thank you. An interesting cancer. Because the page of coins is clarified by the tower. And I feel with that cancer that there's this opportunity to create this new foundation with the blessing that you get from from the mother. You know, this these those like those intuitive ideas, those those opportunities, the these signs here. And if we have been feeling in this sort of slump here, Cancer, with the Ten of Swords, I feel the tower signifying that change is on the horizon. But it's it's like it's within your grasp, but it is like that magician that needing to just manifest that energy to make to make this to make this happen. And I feel even too with this three of cups, there's this thing of getting out, I feel, with others and, and celebrating in the blessings from the great mother too. You know, maybe playing some sport. Look at how this this bear and these raccoons out here just doing a see seesaw little gig. You know, just doing something like that, Cancer. Being out there, maybe going on a, a hike with some friends or maybe doing like a picnic or going to the beach or well, you know, this depending on how the weather's looking where you're at that cancer, that might not be a thing. But if if weather permitting, <laughs> it's just something there, Cancer. I feel like too. Hmm. But I think I'm gonna leave that there. Let's um. Oh, let me light my candle, and then let's get some advice from the sun. Cancer. Hmm. I like that last little bit here. All 
All right, Cancer, so you have the Page of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Three of Wands, the World, and the Emperor here, Cancer. And let's switch back over. You know, Cancer, I feel with this world here, and even with this, um, even with like the Three of Wands being here, that there's this energy of needing to just like, I feel like it's going out and, and kind of broadening your view of the world, journeying to places unknown, getting out there and just exploring and, and with the Ten of Cups, I love how all these otters are together. It's this, I feel like it's forming a connection with all of not just with like people that you meet along the way cancer but i feel like it's strengthening your bond with the with with pachamama with the with the great mother and forming this sense of community between you and like the trees and the animals and like getting really kind of getting a little, little hippie there cancer but i like that and i feel that it can even I almost feel that it can even change because the page of swords is about the, the this thinking type of energy that goes through and i feel like that can bring about even like a fresh perspective like a it can take a bunch of scattered thoughts like imagine these birds were just before when they're just kind of flying around it just sort of looks just sort of random and scattered but now i feel like it, once you start connecting with source things starts the thoughts start forming together there cancer just like how it was doing in this like in this page of uh coins here and things start coming together for you i feel like in a great way cancer and this does it's, it's hmm And I do even feel with this cancer that for some, whatever this Ten of Swords energy that's coming in through there, I feel like the Six of Swords is giving this, this indicator that we can get ready to, we're getting ready to move on from that. We're getting ready to close out this cycle and get almost like this state of graduating in a sense. And you coming into a new stronger type of energy with the with the emperor being here and the emperor is giving me this this energy too of like how i was talking with the knight of coins is that because the, the emperor is that energy of action you know and i feel like if we're especially if we're still healing from something maybe a tower moment that happened a ten of swords whatever that's looking like if we're healing from something that's that's you know take the time to heal cancer but i do feel like it is how they're sitting here and playing getting getting the game plan here that's what i feel like it's the emperor's kind of asking you to do cancer take the time to heal but in that healing how are we going to grow from that experience and but i feel too it's just like I, for some i just feel like it's like taking the time to really be in this energy of gratitude and in and, and, and the in all the blessings that we do have and just how how abundant we really are even when we don't necessarily feel like that it it changes the point of view it changes your perspective and like how certain situations affect you cancers we may not be able to ex control maybe some external things that happen to us but we can control how we feel and how we react to them and so hmm. i think i'm gonna leave that there cancer but just a little something to something to think about but if you like that if you um if anything resonated with you give it a thumbs up and share this cancer because i do feel that this is we do get a lot from the earth you know when there's a lot to to celebrate in even um because I'll, I'll say cancer you know i was kind of feeling a little um i'm kind of in a six of cups type of energy right now and uh <laughs> and it can be you know and when you're kind of it can be nice to just connect back, you know, if you know someone who can, um, when you're not feeling as abundant, just again, just, rem 
you, you get what I'm trying to say, Cancer. And then uh, subscribe there, you emperor. Hit that bell button, magician. Hit that bell button, get notified of all these videos each day. And then the last little bit there, Cancer. Check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements for your uh, for your readings. But just check your chart, Cancer. Get to learn yourself a lot better. And um, I'm actually getting some final things wrapped up there, Cancer. I'm finally, uh, finally getting some stuff moving. I've been, I've been not necessarily procrastinating, but just getting a lot of things in order. So, uh, but I might be, but I'm gonna be able to help you out with that, Cancer. And then. Um, Go check out my other channel, Alchemist State. I do weekly videos, monthly ones, yearly ones. It's a good old time, Cancer. And all that housekeeping is down in the description box below. But let me get your surprise card. It's here. Ooh, so I can get you out here. I was just talking about that Cancer. How the High Priestess doesn't follow us around. And now here she is. She, she, I knew she was going to do this. <laughs> yeah, the High Priestess, Cancer, which I'm not mad at. <laughs> because with the High Priestess here, Cancer... You know, the High Priestess is really doing some very, for her, it's very ritualistic, very sacred work that she's doing here with this lighting of the candle. She has this altar here with this, she's got the stone, the the moon phase, the, the crescent phases, these, these feathers, these candles, these, these crystals around here. And I feel that it is getting in that ritual of appreciating your spirit guides the earth all the blessings that the that the great mother gives you and i feel in that strengthening of that bond that heightens that intuition because now you're in you are tuning in in a deeper type of way to this realm here cancer we're seeing past what the eyes can see and really feeling the energies out there and and taking in that we have the fortune, that abundance, and, and adjusting to this change, the tower, and being assertive in this foundation, the emperor. And, hmm. and I feel even, because the high priestess is our ruler, the moon, and I feel it's even appreciating the fluctuations that, you know, the fluctuations of life, remembering that waxing and waning of energies. And But let me get your... Get your other oracle card here, Kansas, so I can get you out of here. Yeah, Kansas, I was feeling feel, feeling a lot right before your reading, but you know, and I was like, mm, do I want to do this? And I was like, you know what? I'm feeling a lot, so let's just go ahead and do this. It's greater time than any. And Kansas, look at this. You got the uh, you got the sky card here, which is the card of expansion. And this is part of Befriend the Mind, Inner Freedom, and Expand Consciousness. And Jupiter Energy, Wheel of Fortune. You know, because I do feel there is this, this inner freedom when we do come to appreciate, again, that natural abundance that is around us. We may not have it manifested to or created it in the way that we want it to, but we still can find blessings from the earth even in our lowest moments ten of swords energy here cancer and i feel doing that in those especially in those lower moments really do help expand our consciousness it's not easy cancer i'm not saying just do it well i mean i am but i'm not saying like doing it and be but being kind with yourself as far as like there are going to be times where you're feeling and you're on top of the world and then that when i was talking about that waxing and waning we're going to be waxing things are great and then there are going to be times when we feel pushed and we feel challenged and we're in the waning phases of the of the moon right now so we're in that sort of reflect reflective release surrendering type of energy and I feel just yeah be be make sure where our where our minds are at and things while we're going through these experiences here, Cancer. And I feel that it can. I mean, look to the sky. I mean, I even feel that that could even be something, Cancer. I remember. <laughs> I remember one instance. You know, I was in a. <laughs> I was I was younger, Cancer. It was fine. <laughs> I was with some friends and uh, may have been um, we were having a good time. But um, I remember going outside once, and I remember my head like shooting up to the sky. And I mean, I remember looking at it. It was so expansive. 
but so like it just but it was so inspirational to kids I'm, I'm not quite sure how to describe it it was something that almost breathtaking like seeing the sky for the first time and like really seeing like in like technicolor and things it was and that's where i almost feel that this this energy is trying to get you to like hmm You know, pre, pre appreciating those rarities in life that cancer because those moments may be fleeting but you can always call back on them again you because you, you're a time traveler cancer and we're rooted in the past so it's like we can always pull up those uh those memories when we need to cancer so all right i think i'm gonna leave that there but you stay safe out there cancer with this uh with these blessings from the from the great mother and uh yeah appreciate that cancer and you raise your vibration through the roof, past the sky there, scan can't scanser. Cancer. It's, it's just expansive. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here before I serve you a bird salad. And I will catch you on the next one. Moon day. Or Monday, Cancer. Whatever. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start doing that though. I like that.